guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over 6 worked examples to show you how to do problems involving travelling waves. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says a travelling wave is represented by the equation y equals 30 sine 2 pi times 10t minus 0.2x where x and y are in millimetres and t is in seconds. For this wave, state or calculate the amplitude, frequency and period. So for part A, the amplitude, we just need to compare this equation here with our general equation for a travelling wave, which is y equals a sine 2 pi ft minus x over lambda. So if we compare the two, then 30 becomes our amplitude, and remember it's in millimetres here. So we can say that amplitude a equals 30 millimetres. For part b, to state or calculate the frequency, remember the bit in the brackets will be f times t minus x over lambda, so that means our f must be 10 hertz here. So we can say frequency f equals 10 hertz. And lastly, for part c, state or calculate the period of the wave, well, if we know the frequency, then we can calculate the period. So we're trying to find the period t here, and we know the frequency is 10 hertz. So we can use the equation t equals 1 over f, and substitute in the 10 to get 1 over 10, and that gives us the answer of 0.1 seconds. For part d, we have to state or calculate the wavelength. Well, if we look back at our travelling wave equation here, remember we said that inside the brackets it's going to be ft minus x over lambda. So this number here will help me find what lambda is, because if this is minus x divided by lambda, then I know that 1 over lambda is equal to 0.2. So we can say 1 over lambda equals 0.2. So if I want to find lambda, I just need to swap these two rounds, so I get lambda is equal to 1 divided by 0.2, which gives me 5 millimetres for the wavelength. And lastly, for part E, state or calculate the speed. Well, now that we know the frequency and the wavelength, we can find the speed. So we're trying to find the speed V. We know the frequency is 10 hertz and the wavelength lambda is 5 millimetres, which we can rewrite as 5 times 10 to the minus 3 metres. And writing down our equation, we have V equals F lambda. Substituting in the numbers gives 10 times 5 times 10 to the minus 3, which if you put into your calculator, will give you an answer of 0.05 metres per second. Question 2 says a travelling wave is represented by the expression y equals 4.0 sine 62.8t minus 1.25x, where x and y are expressed in metres and t in seconds. Part A says for this wave, calculate the frequency and wavelength. So for the frequency first of all, if we compare this equation to the travelling wave equation, y equals a sine 2 pi times ft minus x over lambda, Notice how the 2 pi has actually been included inside the brackets this time. So both this term and this term have been multiplied by 2 pi. So that means that this number is not just the ft part, it's actually going to be 2 pi ft. So for the frequency, we can say that 2 pi f is equal to 62.8. So to find the frequency, we just need to divide the 62.8 by the 2 pi, which should give you 10.0 hertz. And to calculate the wavelength, remember this term is also multiplied by 2 pi, so this is the same as minus 2 pi x over lambda. So we've got minus 1.25x here instead of the 2 pi over lambda part. So that means if we've got minus 2 pi x over lambda, then we can write that 2 pi over lambda is equal to 1.25, and therefore we can find the wavelength from this. So we can just swap the wavelength and the 1.25 rounds to get lambda is equal to 2 pi over 1.25. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 5.0 meters for the wavelength. Part 3 then says calculate the speed. So now we know the frequency and the wavelength, we can do that. So we're trying to find the speed v. We know the frequency is 10.0 hertz and the wavelength lambda is 5.0 meters. So writing down our equation, we have v equals f lambda. Substituting in the numbers gives 10.0 times 5.0. And just doing that in your head or in your calculator, you should get an answer of 50 meters per second. Part B then says the intensity of the wave doubles. Write down the equation which describes this new wave if all other aspects remain unchanged. Well, if the intensity doubles, that means the energy doubles. And therefore, we want to find the new amplitude A2, because remember, amplitude and energy are related. And they're related through the directly proportional relationship, where energy is directly proportional to the amplitude squared. So because energy changes here, we know that amplitude is going to change, and we need to find that value. So we can say that since energy E equals K A squared, where K is a constant, and remember that's on your relationship sheet, if we rearrange for the constant K, we get E over A squared equals a constant K. And therefore, we can form a new equation from this, which is E1 over A1 squared equals e2 over a2 squared, and we want to find the a2. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find a2, the new amplitude, and the final energy e2 is going to be double that of the initial energy e1. 
and we can say the initial amplitude A1 is 4.0 metres from the travelling wave equation and writing down an equation that we can get from this one is E1 over A1 squared equals E2 over A2 squared and remember we want to find A2. So substituting in our expression for E2 first of all we have E1 over A1 squared is equal to 2E1 over A2 squared. And now you'll see we've got an E1 term on the numerator of both fractions, so we can cancel those out. So we can cancel the E1 terms on both sides, and that gives us 1 over A1 squared equals 2 over A2 squared. And then we can cross multiply, so we get 1 times A2 squared is just A2 squared is equal to 2A1 squared. So that's A2 squared equals 2A1 squared. And then to get A2 on its own, we can take the square root of both sides. So we get A2 is equal to root 2 times A1, which is equal to root 2 times 4.0, where we're just substituting in our value for the initial amplitude. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 5.7 metres for the new amplitude. So if we now answer the question and write down the equation which describes this new wave, where all other aspects of the wave remain unchanged, then we should get this equation here, y equals 5.7 sine 62.8t minus 1.25x. Question 3 says a plane wave of amplitude 0 0.30 meters, frequency 20 hertz, and wavelength 0 0.50 meters travels in the positive x direction. The displacement of the wave is 0 at time t equals 0. Write down the equation of this wave. Well, let's write down what the question's telling us first. We know that amplitude A is 0 0.30 meters, we know the frequency f is 20 hertz, and the wavelength lambda is 0 0.50 meters. So let's write down our general expression for a travelling wave equation y equals a sine 2 pi times ft minus x over lambda. And let's substitute in the values from the left now. So we have y is equal to 0 0.3 sine 2 pi times 20t minus x over 0 0.5. Or you could write the bit in the brackets as 20t minus 2x, because 1 divided by 0 0.5 is the same as 2. So if you didn't want the fraction there, you could just have minus 2x. Question 4 says a wave of frequency 40 hertz travels with a speed of 12 meters per second in the positive x direction. The amplitude of the wave is 1.5 meters. Write down the equation of this wave. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we don't know the wavelength lambda, so we're going to need to calculate that. We know the amplitude A is 1.5 meters, the frequency F is 40 hertz, and the speed V is 12 meters per second. So let's use V equals F lambda to find what the wavelength is, first of all, using the frequency and the speed. So we have V equals F lambda. Substituting in the numbers gives 12 equals 40 times lambda, and to get lambda on its own, we divide both sides by 40. So doing 12 divided by 40 in your calculator should give an answer of 0 0.3 meters for the wavelength. We can then write down our general expression for the travelling wave equation, y equals a sine 2 pi times ft minus x over lambda, and let's sub in the variables again. So we have y equals 1.5 sine 2 pi times 40t minus x over 0 0.3. And again, if you didn't want to write this fraction in here, you could instead write 40t minus 3.3x because 1 divided by 0 0.3 is the same as 3.3. Question 5 says a travelling wave is represented by the equation y1 equals 0 0.24 sine 42t minus 3.6x, where x and y are measured in metres and t in seconds. Part A says write down the equation for the displacement y2 of another wave travelling the opposite direction to the original wave and with the same amplitude, half the frequency and twice the wavelength. Well first we need to note that since the wave is now travelling in the opposite direction, we use the travelling wave equation with a positive sign in the brackets. So the original one had a negative sign, but since this one is travelling in the opposite direction, we show that with a positive sign in the brackets. So what we want to do is first find the first amplitude, frequency and wavelength, a1, f1 and lambda1, and then use these to find the second amplitude, frequency and wavelength, a2, f2 and lambda2. So if we compare this equation to the travelling wave equation, y equals a sine 2 pi times ft minus x over lambda, you can see how the 2 pi term has been taken from outside the brackets and multiplied by each of these terms inside the brackets. So this number is equal to 2 pi f, and this number is equal to 2 pi over lambda. So we can say firstly that amplitude A1 is equal to 0 0.24 meters, and we know that 2 pi F1 is equal to 42 from this part here. So then F1 is equal to 42 over 2 pi, and if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 6.7 hertz. And then to find lambda 1, we can say that 3.6 is the same as 2 pi over lambda here. So we have 2 pi over lambda 1 is equal to 3.6, and therefore we can swap these two terms to get lambda 1 on its own, so we have lambda 1 is equal to 2 pi over 3.6, and if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 1.7 metres. Now to find the final values of amplitude, frequency and wavelength, we need to look at what it's telling us here. So it's the same amplitude, so amplitude is staying the same, half the frequency and twice the wavelength. So we've got the same amplitude, the frequency is halving and the wavelength is doubling. So we can say that amplitude A2 is equal to the A1, which is equal to 0 0.24 metres, that's staying the same. 
The frequency is halving, remember, so we can say that F2 is equal to half times F1, which is equal to a half times 6.7. And if you do that in your head or put it into your calculator, you should get an answer of 3.35 Hz for that. And lastly, the wavelength is doubling, so we can say that lambda 2 is equal to 2 lambda 1. And therefore, if we do 2 times 1.7, and then again doing that in your head or putting it into your calculator should give you an answer of 3.4 meters. So we can therefore write our equation for y2, the second wave, which is y2 equals a2 sine 2 pi times f2t plus x over lambda 2, where remember we've changed the negative to be a positive because it's traveling in the opposite direction. So we can now just plug in all our values that we've found. So we have y2 equals 0.24 times sine of 2 pi times 3.35t plus x over 3.4. And note that the positive sign shows the wave is moving in the opposite direction. Lastly, part B says, is the new wave faster, slower, or the same speed as the original wave? Justify your answer. Well, we can say that since V equals F lambda, the frequency halves and the wavelength doubles, so V must stay the same. So if you were to half the F value in the wave equation but double the wavelength, notice that that will give you the same speed value. So V stays constant. Lastly, question 6 says the following equation represents a wave travelling in the positive x direction. So we've got y equals a sine 2 pi times ft minus x over lambda. Using the relationships f equals 1 over t, v equals f lambda, omega equals 2 pi f, and k equals 2 pi over lambda, show that the following are also possible equations for this wave. So for part A, we want to show that y equals a sine 2 pi times t over t minus x over lambda. Well, it already looks very similar to our travelling wave equation, the only part that's different here is the frequency and the period. So we're going to use this expression here, f equals 1 over t, to try and write it in this form. So we can say that y equals a sine 2 pi ft minus x over lambda, and therefore that's equal to a sine 2 pi times t over t minus x over lambda, where all we've done is rewritten f as equal to 1 over the period. So we've replaced f with 1 over t there, which just makes it become little t over big t. Lastly, for part b, we want to show that y equals a sine omega t minus kx is also a possible equation. Well, again, starting with the travelling wave equation, y equals a sine 2 pi times ft minus x over lambda, we want to get rid of the 2 pi, the f, and the lambda. So let's start by taking the 2 pi inside the brackets. So we're multiplying each of these terms here by 2 pi. So that would give us a sine times 2 pi ft minus 2 pi over lambda times x. And the reason I've written this in this form with x at the side is because we were told that 2 pi over lambda is an equation. And that is actually the equation for something called wave number, which has the symbol k. So we can replace the 2 pi f term here and the 2 pi over lambda term here. So we can say that y equals a sine omega t minus kx, since omega equals 2 pi f, so we can just replace the 2 pi f with omega, and k equals 2 pi over lambda, so we can just replace the 2 pi over lambda here with k. So that gives us our final expression. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.